Coder Dan, I'll first, before we do that, is there anything that you want to touch on for the meeting today? Did you, is there anything you want to bring up? Um, I wasn't sure if uh, we are having a conversation uh, with a couple of the DAO members about liquidity for, uh, for Ghost coming up pre-curve. So there's kind of like pre-curve liquidity and post-curve liquidity. I wasn't sure if Dr. Wagme wanted to share anything, mm -hmm. uh, the thoughts that, that they've been uh, having on that. And we were trying to get uh, one of the, the guys that's been uh, working with us from Polygon side. I don't think he's going to be able to show, uh, come today. We gave him, we didn't give him quite enough notice, but we are going to have a call with him tomorrow and uh, kind of get, get his perspective on Balancer. And then we have a call with QuickSwap coming up on Tuesday to see, basically nego try and negotiate uh, a syrup, uh, like a good, good terms for a syrup pool. So there's a lot of a lot of stuff happening, but um, we really just need to, as a as a DAO, kind of want to pick a strategy, and and go for that. So Dr. Wyden, we can probably talk more about the specifics. Sure, um, there's a there's a lot to talk about here, uh, yeah, but I have a little bit of time. So basically, uh, like Dan mentioned, there's a pre curve closure and post curve closure. Uh, liquidity plan that we need and then we also need like long-term plan treasury management so we're tabling like what are we doing with treasury management for long term and we just really need to address what we're doing for liquidity in the short term and then triaging what we need to do in order having some a strong or at least strong enough pre-curve closure liquidity plan is important and this is complicated from a DAO perspective because there's uh, not much time right so the core prop went live to close the curve today uh, and then we're going to go through the process of uh, making that happen on mainnet. Uh, so with a possible like actual curve closure by May 5th. So that's two weeks from today. So we have maybe two weeks or less to get uh, good enough pre-curve closure liquidity in place. Uh, which means like we have to submit something ASAP. So look for, yep, March 5th, sorry. Uh, I think I'm just excited about Cinco de Mayo already. So we have two weeks uh, to make it happen. And so I expect something from the Curve Transition team this week outlining potential options for us to provide liquidity. Uh, just think, like speaking out loud with uh, different options for this. So you know, we have 750,000 in stables available uh, in our Dow Treasury. Uh, we have to have some set aside for the farming because it looks like their core prop is going to pass. And so we have that plus our treasury ghost to help provide uh, liquidity pre-closure. One of the options uh, for this would be to do an 80-20 pool on balancer where we have 80% in ghost and 20% in a stable coin of our choice. Uh, currently at BNDI, it could make sense to do it in USDC as that's where our other liquidity is at. So if we were to do this, that generally the thought process of uh, 80 20 pools is that if token price is going up, you want the token that's going up to be in the 80%. So for the DAO, right, we're, we risk impermanent loss with this process. But if we did an 80 20 pool where we have a lot of ghost and a little bit of die, for example, like 2.3 million ghost and 750,000 in a stable coin, uh, we would have deep liquidity for ghost purchases we would be able to facilitate people entering the ecosystem and get some ghost and not experience really severe and permanent loss as a DAO. And if we expect it, like numbers like ghost at $3 or $4, uh, the impermanent loss can become pretty big uh, in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So it's a really key decision for us to consider how we're providing liquidity as a DAO and also feel like we're accessible for the hype around this so people can buy Ghost and get in if they want. So that's one of the leading contenders is to get uh, liquidity pre-curve closure via that method, but it, it's a big number, right? If we did that proposal, that would be over $3 million worth of uh, Dow Treasury going into liquidity uh, before closure. Uh, another option would be to try to incentivize our current uh, Ghost USDC pool. Uh, with some sort of liquidity mining program. That pool is kind of in trouble right now, right? So uh, with the recent ghost spike, a lot of people have withdrawn 
uh, their stake worried themselves about impermanent loss and wanting more ghost exposure. And the largest uh, person in the pool is about to withdraw their stake, which is 43% of the current pool. So we're going to be down to just over a million dollars in uh, total liquidity, uh, decentralized liquidity, which really isn't ample and will likely be a big turnoff to people looking to get into our ecosystem uh, if there's just enormous slippage uh, to even buy the token. So uh, we need to get liquidity in. We probably need some sort of liquidity mining program. And then we need to really understand our partners on Polygon from a balancer and quick spot perspective, like what they can do for us uh, and uh, take those rewards into account when we uh, design whatever system we want to go with. So expect more from us this week. There'll be a lot to read on for the DeFi people. Uh, it should make sense for the non-DeFi people. This is probably going to be a little bit above your heads, but we have a lot of people working on a strong plan. And I appreciate the support from the Pixelcraft team in leveraging their partnerships. Any questions on that or short-term clarification needed? Uh, so 80-20 is a possibility. We did talk about 75-25 as well. Be a little bit friendlier to those looking to offload, but uh, does anyone have any thoughts on 80-20 versus 75-25? And as far as like the offloading, uh, you know, so the DAO is going to have a big chunk of DAI that's specifically uh, set aside for liquidity uh, after curve closure. So an option for us would be to kind of transition from the 80-20 or 75-25 pool to a more evenly matched pool after the period of volatility and impermanent loss risk has passed. So you, you can imagine the DAO would do a big chunk in 80-20. Uh, we go through price volatility. We're at a more stable point, And then we move from an 80-20 to like a 50-50 strategy uh, using our stable coins after curve closure with our ghost that remains uh, paired in the 80-20 pool. And then this could kind of help stabilize price there that would provide uh, some liquidity for those looking to like, take profits on ghosts, which is sure to happen uh, after the volatile period. And then kind of help us reach a nice, as stable or even point as we're going to get post curve closure. And I, as Webb is asking, you know, is there a point in looking at more than a two-way pool? I, I think that that would be too complicated right now. That gets a little bit into long-term treasury management, uh, which we still need to discuss and are just kind of hoping to table for now as we're looking to get uh, more liquidity in place. Yes, uh, Tommy, Tommy Gachi brings up the point, Uniswap V3. So QuickSwap also has their V3 and they also have the same management by Gamma. Um, that would be another option. Uh, I don't have any specifics on, we'd have to ask QuickSwap what, what the difference in impermanent loss is with V3 compared to V2 pool. Like a 50-50 pool on V3 might have much lower impermanent loss if you do kind of, they have like a wide versus narrow pool. So I imagine for the DAO, we would be doing like a more narrow pool that covers, uh, or sorry, a wider pool that covers a bigger range of prices but I think you earn less fees. That's like the downside to it. That could also be an option. What we do, we'll, we'll probably discuss that with them on Tuesday. And there would be no liquidity mining rewards from Uniswap? Also, from Uniswap, definitely, definitely no. I think right. they're not, yeah. Uh, this would be more for QuickSwap, I think. There's a chance we could get some quick rewards back. I think a pretty good chance for QuickSwap. But Uniswap, yeah, forget it. All right. Well, that's that's kind of where we're at. Uh, we're working really hard on that. Uh, Maxi Crouton is working on uh, kind of drafting up our current uh, options uh, to get those in front of the DAO ASAP. And then uh, we'll try to have some sort of SIG prop in front of the community soon. 